Hello, everyone. Hey. Welcome to our pre-taped special, our Jessica Jones Damsels and Dishes episode. Currently, uh, I am in Barcelona with Elena, so mm -hmm. we have pre-taped this episode for your pleasure. And I will be in the chat, most likely. Yay! Whee! I am your friendly neighborhood, Jessica Jones. And I'm Trish Walker. And I'm going to show you how to make whiskey cake pops, which I'm really excited about. I've never actually baked with booze before, so this will be an adventure for all of us. So what I've done is I have pre-baked our cake because basically it involves mixing up the cake and baking it. So, Nobody likes to watch paint dry. Like, yeah, it's just loud and then watching it bake. So what I did is I took a box, uh, I took box cake, um, which box cake. you might think is lazy, however, most of the time when you see cake pop recipes, um, they'll just say use mix, use, use a pre-made cake mix, because the, the real art of it is in the actual pop part of it, and so they're like, yeah, just whatever, make the cake. So we have done that. What I did, however, is I replaced half of the water with whiskey. And I actually added an extra little bit of whiskey because I... That's how you do it. Felt like I needed more. That's how you <laughs> do it. I wanted to taste it, yeah. So I think, I'm pretty sure you can taste it pretty well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's subtle. It's subtle. But it definitely tastes like this is whiskey cake. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to make our homemade whiskey icing. Woot woot! Now, we're going to mix it in with this cake. We're going to form the cake balls. And then we're going to cover them in purple candy coating in honor of our... Purple Man. Purple Man, Mr. Kilgrave. Come back here, Jessica! <laughs> every time. Makes me giggle every time. Awesome. You guys like my silhouette? I tried really hard. It looks kind of like a face, right? Yeah, no, I think it's awesome. The camera doesn't do it justice. Like it's, <laughs> it's definitely an in-person kind of viewing, but... He's no, watching. Great. He's watching me. That's why I had to say that. Trish yeah. will save me. Yeah. I think he comes after me. Yeah. Alright. Um, so, what do we want to do first? Let me think here. Um, well, we should get started on the icing. Um, so, actually, Lexi, what you can do is you can just start breaking up this cake like that. Cool. Because we're going to start mushing in the icing. And it's fun I'm, to be over here. Yeah, right? I'm taking charge on this recipe today, um, which is why you'll see Lexi in charge of food cam and... I'm going to be bossing her around, so we'll see if I can fill an entire special with doing that. Um, but Lexi, you actually watched the I whole did. first season, right? I did. I was not a fan of the pilot, and so mm. when we decided to do this episode, I was like, fine, all right. <laughs> and then uh, happened to get sick before we did this and uh, had some free time. So I watched the entire season in like three days. So yeah, I'm, I'm all caught up, and I don't know, I was telling you before we started, I don't know that I like the show, but I don't have a reason for it. Because, like, the acting is phenomenal, the writing's phenomenal, Kilgrave's a great villain, I don't know, I have no reason not to like it. So just, didn't, just didn't sit with you. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. But yeah, it's, it's all good stuff. Um, I'm gonna be having my frosting recipe, and this will be part of our sub perks when we get the cookbook up and running. We will have Jessica Jones cake pops in there. If they don't suck, that is, because they might suck. Uh, where's our half cup? Is it oh, right, because this is all you. Like, you did... The None. frosting is you, right? Yeah, the frosting is homemade. The cake, I mean, the cake, I'll just say get a box and add some whiskey. Uh, but <laughs> the frosting recipe will, will, will be in there. Um, damn it. Okay. Well, I'll just use two quarter cups. So I need to mix the sugar and milk in this recipe in the saucepan over low heat. Alright. 
This is, you're gonna watch me struggle to like lead a cooking show when Lexi normally does all of this. <laughs> um, where is my sugar? Sugar? I feel like I should talk like Jessica Jones, right? Jessica Jones should be showing you how to do this. Yeah, but you have like no enthusiasm. Yeah, so uh. So uh. She's not I like whiskey and uh. So I'm gonna put whiskey in my dessert. That better? Yeah, it's better. <laughs> she did sound like she was from Brooklyn a little though, so uh. uh I'm yeah. trying, I'm trying. To the point where I have not seen enough of Jessica Jones that when she suggested doing this, she's like, oh, whiskey. I'm like, does she drink whiskey on the show? <laughs> I'm like, She drinks yeah. a lot of whiskey on that's, the show. That's a, that's a big part. my kind of girl, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and we're using the red bush from the, what episode was that? Clue. Clue, from our Clue episode. Which will also be on the Once Upon a Time episode. Right. Just gonna be whiskey all the way around. Mm -hmm. Alright, and you get a quarter Again, the way I like milk. It. Put that in there. Alright, I need to get this bowl out of the way so you all can see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna just uh, stick that. What stick you doing? that over the. I'm, I'm mixing. Is this a Jessica technique? I don't think Jessica Jones is good at cooking. And I don't think she would make cake pops unless her life depended on it. Or unless Kilgrave told her to do it. Oh, look at Kilgrave that. did tell you. Yeah. Kilgrave told me to do this. There you go. That's why I'm baking. I'm under mind control. I would never bake normally. Alright. Low heat and stir until the sugar dissolves. Alright, great. This we'll is that. super entertaining for me. Low heat. Low heat. And then we will stir occasionally. I'm really bad at relinquishing control. This is fun. <laughs> Um, Alright, so now we need to cream the butter and shortening well with a mixer. Cream it up. Alright, so I'm using again half of what I normally would, so I'm using half a stick of butter. And a half a cup of shortening. And these should be a little soft by now, they've been sitting out in the warmness. Oh yeah, they go soft. Yeah. So we're gonna grab the mixer and we're gonna soften those up. Thank you kindly. Mm-hmm. Ugh, I can't talk in that accent. I'm Jessica Jones. Thanks, man. Um Thanks, man. Are Thanks, Jessica. Right here. Yes. Oh, um Yeah. Yes, I can't find a little uh cool. a little thingy. I'm yeah. Boop. I'm going dark. This is gonna be loud, so headphones. Uh, headphone alert. We can't type it in, but headphone alert. Add the milk and sugar. All right. Ah, I'm scared. You got this. mixture in once it's cooled. Once it's cooled? Yeah. So well basically all we're doing over this over the stove top right now is dissolving. You can actually uh, unplug that and plug the light back in. We're making sure that the sugar is dissolved. Um, so we can just like I don't know, maybe shake it up with some ice, you know, to like cool it down instantly. Yeah. Stick it in the freezer for a second. Yeah. Yes. I, I mean it's dissolved pretty much I would say. Yeah. Yeah, we can do that. Alright, cool. So... Stick it in the freezer. Just straight in with metal? Yeah. The, the, you can't melt the plastic in the freezer, though. What? You know? No. You sure? Yeah. I stick warm stuff in the freezer all the time. But, like, hot metal? Yeah. Alright. Because the, the beams in the freezer are metal. Oh, I was going to stick it down here, though. Yeah, you should still be fine. Hi! The, the thing is gonna like melt through your 
Um, we need to turn this down a little bit. This is some intense mystery music. And we don't like it that loud. It's a lot. Jessica Jones solving mysteries. Da -da 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 with her friend Trish. It does sound like comic book -y in my head, like a comic book cartoon. That music. Yeah, but like a kid's cartoon if I see Jessica Jones. Yeah, no. Again. This would be the like the Trish Walker cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright, so this is creamed up, and then we're going to add the milk and sugar mixture a little bit at a time, beating well with each addition. And then we're going to add two tablespoons of whiskey, um, which I predicted might be a little too much, but we're going to find out. I think we should just go all in and do it. It's never too much. Because, I mean, I just drink straight up whiskey all the time. You know, like, I'm not afraid of it. Girlfriend does drink a lot of whiskey on the show. A lot. Like, a lot. And then we can decide if we want to add the vanilla as well, because the original uh, Jessica Jones icing minus whiskey recipe has vanilla in it, but I figure it might be too much to have all of it. Um, I want to get this nice and centered in the bowl. Scrape them edges, girl. Yep. I'm scraping. Look at you being a cooking pro. Yeah. You do, I think you do desserts really well. Oh, like, thanks. Also, I've never made cake pops in my life, so mm. I'm learning how to You're do learning this. now. This. I never realized how hard they were. To like, make? Yeah, there's so many steps. Uh, well, they're actually not too hard. I think the main thing is that we're making our own icing, so that's like a whole extra thing. But you could just bake a box cake, get some icing, and then you just mix it together, form it into balls. The hard part is dipping it into the candy coating, because that takes a hot second, as we'll find out. Alright, are you cool enough yet? Are you done in time out? Didn't melt the freezer? No, I didn't. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. That's really, really, really sweet. Cool. Mmm. That might be doing more damage than good. Alright. Thank you, Trish. Mm -hmm. Alright. On to this part, which is creaming them well with the mixer. Oh, I was supposed to add oh. this little at a time. Yep. Oops. Oops. You know what? You're fine. You know, next time. <laughs> oh, thanks. Yep. We got Lexi on tech. So you'll be in charge of saying headphones on, yeah. the, on the actual stream. All right, so now we're going to add the whiskey. Two tablespoons. Uno. I'm yeah. scared. I'm scared. Wait, actually, we have the recipe. So I should only do one. Yeah. You're chickening out now? Huh? Is that what you're really doing is chickening out? No, no, I two tablespoons is for the full recipe, and I did only do half, because you don't need that much frosting. So this is supposed to be whiskey buttercream frosting. I'm scared. I'm very scared. It's really warm. I don't taste whiskey. I don't taste whiskey either. I don't really taste anything. I taste butter. <gasps> Where'd it go? It's right there. Ah! I've been hit! It's in your <laughs> hair? Got it. This is not good icing. It's not bad, it's just, I think you should add another tablespoon of whiskey and then a... But something to thicken it too. 
Well, you know? here's the thing. You have to remember that it's, right now it's hot. Like, it's warm. Mm. So that butter is also melty. That's true. If it was cool. Right. So I would... Yeah, because warm frosting is a different consistency. Right. So that's what you okay. have right now is warm frosting. All right. We're just going to... Oh, wow. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> now it's truly Jessica Jones. I mean, and the truth is we're also going to be adding the amount of frosting that we want to these cake pops. So, uh, you know, it's really just to, like, add flavor and to moisturize the cake so that they can be formed into balls. Headphones. Actually, um, here, I'll show you. <laughs> so we haven't been food camming this at all yet. There we go. <laughs> now you can click on it. And what did I do? It was in uh, a different mode. You got it. It's not a good one. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Alright, you want to show that off now? Yeah. Show it off. So this is show what off. came out of this, and it's a little more melty. It's still pretty solid, you can tell it's like, it's not going anywhere, but... It's like a DQ it's blizzard. A, it's a little more liquidy than I would have wanted. Um. Mmm. Yeah, you can taste it now. Like, I can <laughs> taste it, it's good. Hmm. It has that, like, little whiskey yeah, the, kick to it. The flavor is definitely there. I also do like drinking whiskey straight, so... Oh. I mean, you don't, right? No, I don't typically take my whiskey neat. You are not a whiskey person at all, though, either, right? No, I like whiskey. Yeah, whiskey and... I would say whiskey and gin are my, my two... My two alcohols. My two liquors. So, uh, what do you think? Vanilla or no vanilla? This is your hmm. recipe, after all. Let me decide. We're making up this recipe right now. Mm. It needs more whiskey. I want it to be like, you bite into this and you're like, I want the whiskey to smack you in the face. Oh. We should have just drenched him in whiskey frozen that way. Hmm. Because I, I don't think we can add whiskey to the candy coating, because I think it will seize the candy coating. Oh, yeah. You can't do that. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't... What's well, another way we can improvise to make these cake pops taste more like whiskey? There's Jessica Jones. Hmm. Um, yeah, I would... Hmm. Cause we just need them to form into balls, right? Yes, but if we make them too moist, then they will not hold together. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Let me think. Because these, think. when you put them into the little balls, they go in the freezer? Well, I usually pop them in the freezer because they get warm from our hands and they will fall apart if they're too warm. Um, but it might not be too warm today. So we might be able to. Because what I was thinking it. too. Because, like with rum cakes and stuff, you actually soak them in rum mm. or in liquor. So, yeah, I'm afraid of doing that because we have to keep it formed. But what um, if we roll them into a ball and then, like, spoon whiskey over all of them? We could do that. I'm just afraid it's going to be too wet. I, I can't read that. <laughs> um, but hmm. I mean, it's not too wet to keep adding whiskey, whiskey no, to, the, just to the icing. Keep... And it did make a big difference. So, oh. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. If we can that. <laughs> oh my. I just added a God. lot of whiskey. So this will be um this will be quite the amended recipe. Headphones.
it tastes good. Yeah. This is okay. All right. All right. Clear the taste buds of whiskey. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's very strong now. No? I can taste the whiskey. It doesn't have a bite to it though. Are you just doing this until I have a moment? What? No, this is a bite to it to me. Hmm. All right, I think we're done mixing. We are done mixing. Oh, there we're we gonna go. move on. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I just wasn't. Uh, yeah, I think you just putting enough in my more head. of it. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Would cool. you mind uh, taking out the blender? Yep. I'll hand this to you, and then we'll start a mixing. Whoops. So, we're gonna get this big bowl. Um, if you wouldn't Ooh. mind food cam in this. Mm -hmm. And Lexi has done a great job crumbling this cake. I'm hungry. Hmm. This could have probably had more whiskey too. I just didn't want it to be like overpowering. Yeah. Some of this I really can't taste the whiskey. Um, but we need this to be like relatively fine because we want it to be a really even mixture so for the cake pops. I didn't do a good job. I should have. No, you did. You just. I mean, I didn't give you clear instructions. I just said crumble. You are making a mess. You know what? Sometimes. No, it's very Jessica Jones. Very. You're I don't cleaning care. up crime. You leave a mess. Ain't nobody got time for this. I don't have time to clean up my messes. Trish has to clean up my messes. She always gets stuck with that job. Mm-hmm. All right. Pour her in. Woo! We're on our way to the good stuff. Hey yo! Yeah. So like I said, it is relatively simple if you're not making your own frosting. You just make a cake and then mix some icing in. So what I've done in the past is I've actually um, baked an entire cake and then I have put an entire can of frosting in it, and it's been great. It's been fine. They're very moist. Um, but I'm going to try with these whiskey cakes to do them a little bit drier because maybe I won't have as many issues keeping them on the sticks. So actually I should measure this out so I know for the future. Let's do, let's do a quarter cup and see. Oh, frack. I was going to use half the cake. Oh well, too late. So, if I'm using an entire cake, we're gonna have a lot of cake balls. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna do, then I'm gonna do half a cup. Because I think a whole can of icing is two cups. So I'm gonna do that. Alright. And then, we're gonna use the spatula, and just mix her all up. Make a nice, a nice cake pop batter. Awesome. God, I hope these taste like whiskey. I just hope, I just hope so badly they taste like whiskey. See, I mean, that the, icing is pretty great. I feel like it's too dry. Yeah. See, a lot of recipes say don't add too much icing because it'll get too moist, but I just, I think you do. I think you need a good amount. So I'm going to do, so this is three quarters of a cup see where that gets us. You guys are watching magic happen right now. There are no cake pop, there are no whiskey cake pop recipes. I looked. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So we're probably going to be like super Pinterest famous after this because we have done it. We have done it. We have made whiskey cake pops. Knock on wood. Uh. Got it. Knock on wood. All right. Actually, this is a good, this is a good consistency. Yeah. This is actually perfect. That's what <clears throat> the pro consistency is? I think so, yeah. All right, you want to show that off real quick? I do. 
Show that off. Show off that consistency. Oh, this is hard work. I gotta take the gotta take the jacket off. So it has like a actual cookie dough esque consistency. Yeah. I think that's what you're shooting for is cookie dough esque. Yeah, we just want it moist enough to form into balls. But it does look remarkably like cookie dough. I wanna taste this. I mean, if anything, it does taste like whiskey, but I'm not, like, being smacked in the face with it. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Wanna try? Yeah. <clears throat> it does taste like whiskey. Yeah. Um, but I think once we add the candy coating, you won't be able to taste it. Yeah. It tastes like cake. Yeah. But I mean, like, if there is any flavor, it would be whiskey. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Success so far. All right. hey yo. So. They're good, though. Mm-hmm. They're very good. They do have, like, a kick. Definitely. Tastes like... An after kick. Spicy, almost. Yeah. Yeah. So, we're going to start forming these into some bowels. This is my favorite episode so far. I just get to watch her work. <laughs> um, That's how it kind of works on the show, though. Like, yeah. Jessica Jones does all the work and Chris just kind of like <laughs> appears. So I'm making them about yay big. Um, I don't know how to communicate to you. Like like a tablespoon big probably. Um, can we food cam up the... Maybe I can hold it up. You guys can mm. see. So hand for scale. I don't have a banana for scale. I think it would be like a tablespoon or like a soup spoon size. Yeah, like your regular old cookie size I would say. Um, because if they're too big, they will fall off when you dip them in the candy coating. So like, yeah, like, you know, use your judgment. Like this big. Use your judgment. <laughs> You'll be fine. We'll be fine. Every, everything will be fine. All right. You don't sound confident. <laughs> everything will be fine. For a second, I was actually, I was thinking, I was like, do we bake these again? I forgot. No, no, you don't. You don't bake these again. These are actually pretty moist. They could probably be a little less moist. I might put in the recipe use two thirds of a cup of icing instead of yeah three quarters because these are pretty moist. I always make the mistake of making these too big, unfortunately. Um, but these <clears throat> will not be too big. All right. So while I'm doing this, let's talk Jessica Jones. Yeah. I also don't think you can make those too big. Like, when you go to Starbucks or whatever and they have them, like, I don't know. You know the what? The cake is always so minimal. Good I point. more cake. Actually, that's a good point. I forgot. We're not going to be doing the stand-up kind. We're just going to be sticking them in, and then you will lift them up when they're done. Oh, cool. So we don't have to worry too much. Um, yeah, that's a good point. I forgot we were doing that. Because the reason I was thinking we were doing the other kind is because I make Game of Thrones cake pops. Um, so I've made Ned Stark head cake pops and Jon Snow head cake pops. So those ones you can't just stick in, like the, like the Starbucks kind. Right. You have to, like, what, what did we do? We, we, like, stood them up in a strainer because they have the holes in them. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. because the heads have to look like smooth, and yeah. then you have to, like, paint on the hair and everything. Um, these are going to be... Mu it's so much easier to not do all that. That takes so much time, but... If you want to learn how to do the Ned Stark or the Jon Snow cake pops, um, you can go to my website, BrokeGirlsDiary.com, and I have a tutorial on how to make those. And there's some pretty awesome picks. Yeah. I feel like we I've watched Game of Thrones with you several times. Yeah. But I feel like I was just unlucky enough to not go to those events when you made those. I made, uh, it was... Uh, the Jon Snow ones were at the one where you had just gotten back from somewhere where you were wearing a pink corset and you were really, really? sunburnt. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, when I was really sunburnt? Yeah. It was my birthday a couple years ago. Oh, yeah? We had gotten back from Ren Faire. My first time at the Ren Faire. Oh, that's true. It was an April 22 premiere? Yeah. They usually premiere in April. Yeah. But this year, or 2019, I guess we don't know. Yeah, they usually premiere right around my birthday. All good shows do. Yeah, it must be like a, like a seasonal thing, because this year is Westworld. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright. And we'll talk about Westworld. Then. <laughs> but so, yeah. Jessica Jones. I don't... I'm trying to think if I have any predictions for the show. 
I feel like I read somewhere that they're bringing Kilgrave back, but I I think it was just in flashbacks. I think David Tennant was just in flashbacks, so I'm not sure. I'm curious who the next big bad would be. I know. I, I, I mean, and maybe they have released something about it, and we just haven't seen it. We haven't spoiled it for ourselves, but yeah, I have, I have no idea. I'm Who's not it? in the market of... Also, David Tennant just put such a high bar. I know, and that's what everyone said when it came out. They were like, there's no way... Like, they already used their best card. Like, they got the best villain. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I have 14 cake pop sticks, and I have extras... So I want to try to bring some of these to my Dungeons and Dragons tomorrow. Hey yo, if they're good, which they will be. I mean, they taste pretty great already. Um, but yeah, I I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen, especially since um the trailer for season two is all first season, almost all first season footage. Yeah. Which is good because it doesn't spoil anything. It's good. I both love and hate when they do that because I'm like, there is an art to trailer making. And I like when you actually take the time to use clips from the new season to give, like, hints at things mm. without giving it away. Um, well, Paul Thomas Anderson, doesn't he just use outtake footage? Or not outtake, but unused footage in the in the final cut? I remember reading about that for Phantom Thread. Oh, nice. Because, uh, yeah, all the stuff he used in his trailers was not in the film. What? Yeah. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what I read. I mean, that's an interesting way of doing it. Yeah. Um, but I'm trying to remember. I don't know. I feel like we can talk about spoilers, right? Because we... This show came out two years ago. Right. And um, also, there's a comic book. Yeah. Like, well, I, like Game of Thrones, you d we wouldn't want to spoil the books if, if we were only on season four. That's fair. Ugh. I actually just did research on the comic book, too. Yeah? And so now I'm like, I know where it's headed in the comic book. I don't know if that's where it'll be headed. Yeah, because in the comic book, she has a baby with Luke Cage. Mm-hmm. And their nanny is Squirrel Girl. Who is Squirrel Girl? <coughs> Squirrel Girl? Who that? Okay, so Squirrel Girl is an actual superhero in the Marvel Universe. What? What is her superpower? I Finding nuts? <laughs> Um, no, but apparently Luke Cage and Jessica Jones' daughter gets kidnapped. Oh, of course she does. And then, in order to make it so that never happens again, they hire Squirrel Girl to protect their child. But we don't know what Squirrel Girl's superpowers are? She flies at the speed of light. She looked like- What?! No, I actually don't know what it is. That her. would be awesome, like, <laughs> yeah, Squirrel Girl, who oh, goes stupid name? I can fly faster than- everything else that we know about as humans. Uh, I don't know what our superpower is exactly. My roommates last year when we were doing superheroes for Halloween, we always do big groups, and Dan was like, be Squirrel Girl! Because <laughs> she is actually, like, kind of short, and she has, I think they're goggles that make her look like she has, like, squirrel eyes. Interesting. And, like, and she looks, and has, like, a cape, I think. Huh. And she kind of looks like a squirrel. I don't remember where the series left off with Luke Cage and Jessica Jones' relationship. And we, neither of us have seen The Defenders yet, so I don't know if their relationship progresses in that. I've seen an episode of The Defenders. I don't... I feel like they wouldn't do that, though, as, like, a focus. Well, who no. knows? I mean, they're both sexy people. And they're both in Defenders. I... I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, Squirrel Girl. I think we're gonna have too many cake balls... First world problem. For... <laughs> for how many sticks we have, but that's okay. Hopefully we have enough candy coating. I mean, um, then you just have cake balls. We just got a bunch of bite-sized snacks. Are you guys hearing the saxophone right now? It is some mystery thriller saxophone. Like, sexy mystery. <laughs> you know, these might not be too moist now that I'm looking at them, because if I don't smush them good enough, they are kind of like cracking apart. Shmish. So, perhaps this is a good amount. I don't know. We'll taste them and we'll, we'll find out at the end. Um, but yeah, if anybody knows of a whiskey cake pop recipe, holla at Lexi in the chat. Or holla at us on Twitter, because I would like to know. On Twitter? Yeah. You, you all are perhaps better at finding random stuff on the internet than we are. 
Yeah, we're not very good with that. Edgar, if you're on right now, we're talking about you. Edgar's the one who found the <laughs> cost of living clips. Oh my god. <laughs> my Michael Spur fan. Mm -mm. Um, mm -mm. But yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen in in this series. I'm trying to think. Cause but Trish might have some stuff, right? Because you said well, Trish is Hellcat in the comics, so she might get a nice storyline. I'm curious to see how they're going to do that. Because apparently, I was reading that they were going to use Carol Danvers, who is Captain Marvel, originally to play Jessica Jones's best friend in the series, in the television series, and they found out that they were doing a Captain Marvel movie, and so they pulled that, and they wanted her to have someone who didn't have powers, but I'm like, mm. she's Hellcat. So how does she become Hellcat? Yeah, I'm glad that you reminded me of of how Trish um, ends up kicking butt towards the end of the series, because I, I completely forgot about that. Um, maybe she, like, there's takes a hold of that? And just, just keeps popping them pills? Yeah. Maybe. But that wouldn't really be superhero. That would be like... Well, then again, I feel like supervillains get their powers that way, right? Like, they inject yeah. themselves. Like, um... Uh... What... Oh my god, I'm, I'm forgetting. Uh, Spider-Man. Uh... Venom? The Green Goblin. There you go. He... Injects himself with spider, right? Isn't that how with he... With spider? With the, the spider poison that, that Spidey, Spidey Man gets? God, I haven't, I haven't seen that movie in ages. But, I mean, these supervillains we often see, like, using technology to create their superpowers. As opposed to our heroes, where it's always a, an accident. It's a happenstance that has been thrown upon them. Yeah. It's always an accident. It always is an accident. Some chemical spilled on them and... Yeah. Ooh, this is gonna... Be rotten away. Put in that little corner there. Thank I you. I got you. I'm also curious about um, because you've seen the series more recently than me. Is Tony Stark in Jessica Jones at all? I don't think so. Because in the comics, he's the <coughs> one who gave her parents the Disneyland tickets, and that's oh. the road trip they were on when they all died, and she got her superpowers. And I was like, I don't remember. Tony Stark from <clears throat> from the show, TV show. There's got to be some sort of story there. So I am going to pop these in the freezer for a second, just so they get nice and cool, um, while we prepare the candy pudding. Melt, mold, dip, and drizzle. I got purple candy coating and on our Jessica Jones. And then I got, oh, I forgot to pull it out. Hey, yo. I don't even know what this is. I'm gonna find out the same time you do. <laughs> I got these fun little black sprinkles because Jessica Jones is gritty and I felt weird making pristine little purple cake pops, you know? I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah. Look at you making stuff. <laughs> so we're gonna... I don't know how we're gonna play these yet, but first we'll prepare the candy coating. So, so, I use a coffee mug because you want a container that is tall enough to hold, uh, let me get this, uh, where's my saxophone music? Get, get that, that sexy bag. sax back in get there. Get that bag. Um, tall enough so that we can surround the cake pop because, for example, if you have it in a bowl. I don't know, like a regular cereal bowl. It's too, it's gonna be wide, and the frosting won't be tall enough, the candy coating won't be tall enough to completely submerge itself. Yeah, submerge the cake ball. So, I'm gonna do about, we have a lot of cake balls, so I'm gonna do about half. I'll probably end up using all of these, actually. Um, and these taste like vanilla. Vanilla! I guess that's why we didn't the vanilla and the cake there you mix, because, yeah. Um, so I melt these a little bit at a time, and I'll add a little bit of vegetable oil to smooth it out, because it's too thick. So I'm going to stick this in the microwave. Into microwave. 
So these are lavender. I originally thought they were lavender flavored when I read this. That would be super bizarre. Although I guess lavender and whiskey wouldn't be the worst combinations. Lavender and gin would be really good. Yeah. If we could do that. I don't know, lavender just does not sound like a color for Jessica Jones. Yeah. Hmm. Alright, on cool looking here. We have so many things we have to switch around today just for technology's sake. Yeah, we never we never usually have to worry about that, but today we need the microwave specifically because we need to melt the candy coating. Well, couldn't you melt these on the stove the same way we did? You could, yeah. You could melt it in that little, in that little saucepan, probably. It's not a bad idea. Um, but it's also nice to do it in a different format and show you guys how to do that. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's going to take like a couple seconds in here, so. Alright. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. Oh, I wow, that melts way down. Let's see here. Yeah, okay. You don't want to okay. burn it. Um, but can you food candy? I'll show them how thick this is. So, ooh, this is really warm, actually. That was only, hey like, 40, 40 seconds. So, yeah, it's pretty thick right now. Um, it's a little too thick to dip. Um, but I'm going to just, while it's hot, I'm just going to keep mixing it. Um, because I don't, uh, hold on. Oop. Oop. And superpowers ignite. Yeah. Is this really all we're going to need? Yep. Uh, I, I, I don't want it to get too hot. Because I don't, I definitely don't want to burn it. Um, and I have made mistakes before with these cake pops. I've added water, which seized it. Um, adding food coloring also seizes it. Yep. So, the only thing you can add is oil-based stuff. Um, and they do sell specific, uh, like a specific ingredient for people who make cake pops and stuff like this to thin out the candy coating, but I just add oil. It's always worked for me. So I add just a little tiny bit. Little At this bit. point, you are a cake pop professional. I've made so many mistakes that I can finally just do it. <laughs> um, yeah, I want it to be relatively, here I'll show you, relatively liquidy. Mm. Yeah. Like. There you go, that looks great. Yeah, I mean, not too liquidy, but you want it to be viscous. Viscous, a viscous fluid. So let's get started. Let's get poppin'. Hey. Hey. <laughs> They look so good. They look awesome. Oops. Okay, so the first thing you want to do, actually, let's get our sprinkles ready. I don't know how we should apply these. Should we put those in um, a bowl and then when they dry a little bit, like... Yeah, let's do that. Um, we can dip them in the bowl. Yeah, we'll do that. I don't want to, like, spill all of these. Let's just do, like, a tiny little corner. Yeah, don't use the whole pack. <laughs> We'll do that. Maybe we can use our fingers and like sprinkle it on. Yeah. That might be best. We'll, we'll figure it out as we go. Um, so... These are fun. Ooh, there's immense static coming out of those. Okay. First thing you want to do when you make cake pops is you dip the tip of the candy stick in the candy coating because this will dry on the inside of the ball. And you just dip her in about halfway. They are a little big. Ooh, they're a little big, they're a little big. I'm scared, I'm scared. I'm scared, Trish. Oh, actually, we do this. We let them dry. I was like, there we this go. is how you make these? This seems dangerous. Uh, yeah, we are gonna let them dry. So we're just gonna dip and stick. Dip and stick. Dip and stick. What's that awesome. legally blonde thing they do? Oh, the bend and snap. Bend and snap. snap. Bend. The bend. I'm so sorry. Jessica snap. Jones would bend. never do that. It's made me think of the musical Legally Blonde. There's like an entire 
Oh, there's chunk. a little, yeah, there's a whole song. Yeah. Legally Blonde. Wrong show. Do you have super fancy pop thingies over there? I do. These are a gift, actually. Um, I have backup candy sticks, and they're blingin'. Are these from you? <laughs> I got these from somebody. They might be from Sarah. You, you, um, like, they gave you those as a gift? Yeah. Random. Yeah, so these are not Jessica Jones, Appropriate. Uh, but I will use them. I, I tried to use them as, like, maybe these red things could be blood, but... <laughs> They didn't look like blood. Alrighty, can we food cam these? So Absolutely. You can see how they look from the top. Boom. Yeah, so we're dipping them in like so. Boom. I, I haven't made these in a little bit, like a year probably, so I'm a little bit remembering how to make them as I go. But it seems to be going okay thus far. I will say the end of the Jessica Jones pilot hooked me where, when the, I guess towards the end, but when Hope, the daughter, pulls the gun out, it's, I think it's the end of the pilot. I don't remember. And shoots her parents, where I was like, oh, this is messed up. This show is so oh, messed up. Oh, in the elevator. Yeah. Yes. Because yeah. I was like, okay. So it's new victim, he tells her, he, it's all a ploy, and he tells her to kill her parents. Like, when... Yeah. I didn't see that coming. I'm a person who, if I can figure out the ending to something or can figure out where a show is going, I don't like it. Yeah. And so the entire time I was watching it, I was like, this is so predictable. Hmm. Like, and I don't know, I wasn't super impressed with it because of that, and then... And then she murdered her parents, and you were yeah. like, oh, snap! Yeah. Also, like, super mind-messing up thing yeah. forever. Alright, so we're out of the regular cake pops sticks. So I'm gonna make some extras <laughs> with the fancy bling and cake pops. Those are huge sticks. I know. Too. I wanna get rid of these though, so that's why I'm using them. I could have bought more, but No. I was like, I need to get rid of these damn things. These can be the ones that go to your D D group. Yeah. I made Bis fancy bling and whiskey cake pops. Sorry. I'm sorry. Uh if you wanna make these at home, you can get this candy coating and the candy sticks at Michael's or Hobby Lobby or any kind of craft store. Probably Joanne as well if they have baking stuff. Um, but that's gener generally where you find these. You won't find them at a regular grocery store. You have to go to a craft store. Sometimes Gelson's is starting to carry these now. Oh yeah? Yeah, but it's not like in a vast array of colors. It's like mm. black, white, and red or something. Yeah, Michael's will have everything. Uh, I was actually surprised they had purple. I was a little worried they wouldn't and I have to mix red and blue, but... They had it. Yeah, that was nuts. The Jon Snow. So I did minimal research into this because she was like, I want to lead. And I'm like, sweet, do it. <laughs> but I did read the Bro Girls entry mm. about it. Uh huh. The skin color. Yeah, you somehow oh. messed it up. <laughs> I mean, you didn't mess it up. He just had some flex in his face. Yeah, so what happened in the Jon Snow cake pops is that I was trying to make skin color and I accidentally got confetti white candy coating, so it had, like, flecks of random Confetti. colors in it. So he just looked like he had mold growing all over his face. But I did manage to, like, find a nice, clean, non-confetti part of the face to, to put the actual eyes and mouth on. And then I just put the hair all over the rest of it. So you couldn't even really tell. No, I mm -hmm. actually... Like, I've seen those before and didn't notice until I read the entry. So mm -hmm. I was like, oh, well done on you. Yeah. That, <laughs> that I knew... The intention of Broke Girl's Diary with cooking is that I will probably mess up, but this is like a real person really cooking, so voila. Uh, we're out of sticks now, but we have extra pops. So maybe we'll just drizzle this on or something afterwards? Yeah. I don't know. Um, but these should be about you ready. You right there. Yeah, so let's start dipping. Hey, yeah. Still worried this isn't quite... Cool enough? Liquidy enough. Oh. Um, because they get really, really heavy. Um, I'm just gonna add a touch more. Um, but you can play with this when you when you do it. Um, I don't usually see an exact recipe for how much oil to add to the candy coating because I think it really just depends. It depends on how you work. Because some people I'm sure are really good at this. People who do it for a, a living or people who have like baking blogs and stuff like that. They're just like, yeah, dip it in and then stand it up in your 
customized lip lock that has holes drilled in it specifically for cake pops. Didn't you have one of those at one hey. point? Yeah. <laughs> My boyfriend at the time actually drilled me a little, like, wooden plank thing to serve the Ned Stark cake pops in. It was really cute. And I didn't keep it. Alright, so dip. And twirl. Until it doesn't... Oh! Whoa! And it came out, but that's okay. It'll dry again. Um, let me show you up close if I can on how to do this. That's why if they're too big, it's no good, because they get really heavy and they fall off. So, dip quickly, swirl, swirl, get all the ac excess off, be quick, don't let it all uh, get too heavy on one side, and then stick her down with paper. Kind of like a, a caramel apple. Man. This is a million times harder when you have to keep it upright. Yeah, because then it would drip all over. Yeah, it drips, and it's heavy, and it's really, really hard. Um, I screw up a, a, a ton of these when I do the cake pop heads. I feel like this would be so frustrating. I never cook things that I won't be successful at. <gasps> no! Another one down! Another one bites <gasps> the dust. Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> it's totally messed up. No! No! Oh. It's breaking off into the frosting. I, I need a spoon. Just, I got this. <laughs> All right, here we go. Mm. This happens. This is normal. This part is normal. This always happens to me when I make cake pops. Honestly, the that is so good though. Yeah. Like the vanilla punches up the whiskey a little. Really? I'm gonna wait till it dries a little bit and then I'll try it. Mm. Um, yes, it's too heavy, so I'm gonna keep adding oil. The candy coating is too heavy and it's making the that's nuts. the cake fall off. Yeah. The thinner it is, the better, in my opinion. Um, these cake pops, because these cake pops are really not too big. They shouldn't be. So I think the candy coating just needs to be a little bit thinner. And you said it's normal for them to break off? It's normal for me. Like, uh -huh. I screw it up a lot. But, you know, you live and you learn, so. Well, and now you have extra cake pops where you can just put the stick in over there. Yeah, exactly, actually. I will do that right now. Let me see here. I'll scrape this off. Boom. I actually a little bit planned on this. <laughs> I was like, I'll have some extra cake pops to uh, use for the mess ups. Oh, this one. There we go. All right. This music Try it is again. Great. Go real, real fast. Ooh, and get off the excess. La 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 la. I'm like squeezing my butt cheeks together so hard right now. Okay. Yay! That's beautiful! That one is actually really good. The stuff that we're missing, before these dry, we're gonna sprinkle the black on them. Boom. There we go. Perfect. I wonder if this will take still. Yes. A little bit. Grungy, grungy, grungy. That one. Grungy, really, grungy, grungy. That one probably won't, won't take, but whatever. Um, yeah, so we just do this for all of the different cake pops. Hey yo! I feel like I had something I was gonna say about Jessica Jones. What was it? Um, oh, I don't remember. I did read though, because I haven't read the comic books, that she was there when Peter Parker was bit by the spider. Oh yeah, that's really cool. I love how they're all interconnected. I didn't know that until I started doing research for our episode that they're all super connected to each other in the actual comic book series. They do a really great job of making those worlds super in depth and super. Easter egg-ish, I guess. Like, there's little bits and pieces in everything, which is cool. Hey yo. There we go. There's another one, Sand Stick. <laughs> oh, well. They're too big. Yes, that was a mistake. You were too kidding. Big. Yeah. If they're too heavy, they will fall off. I always do this. I told you. It's on the recording. I do this every time. I make them too big. I never learn from my mistakes. Alright. We gotta learn. Hopefully some of these I made tall enough. Because that looks like otherwise. That one looks like a wee one. Um, a wee one. I'm going to keep making this thinner, actually. Because Dirt. otherwise we're going to run out. Oh, can you, can you put some sprinkles on that, guys? Yeah. There we go. There we go. Lovely. Lovely. Yay, I hailed. <laughs> All right. Oil her up. 
Oh, that's looking nice. That's looking really nice. Good, good, good. Nice. Good, good, good. Oh, dang it. I dipped it twice. You can't do that. Don't follow my lead. Why can't you dip it twice? Because it'll fall off. <laughs> Alright, this is the correct size, I would say. This one we did right on. I did right on. I can't blame you for my mistakes. Yay, this oh, one's no, we're working. I think this is actually a great consistency too. Yeah. It's thin enough. I mean if it's too thin you'll you'll find out because you'll, you'll see, see bald spots on there. Um, but I I've, I've never managed to make it too thin. And I imagine if it gets too oily, um, it it'll fall off and it won't dry. Um, but I think these should be fine. Wonderful. Wonderful. Maybe I can, uh, maybe I can attempt to food cam show you guys how I'm twirling these in the cup. Yeah, your next one will, uh, tag team it out. Yeah. Because I want you to see how I'm, like, rolling these in. Okay. Right now I'm kind of turning it to the side because, Ready? uh, let me get a small one so I don't screw it up. And go. All right. I'm going to try and look while I do this. Let's see. So dip, twirl, bring it out, keep twirling it, keep twirling. Get all the excess off. You can see it kind of dripping off. Dribble draglin'. Yep, and then plop! Right there. Then... This Boom. would definitely be a fail stream if we were making the Game of Thrones cake pops right now. There would be like decimated heads everywhere. Oh my god. Ooh, it's time to try it. Mmm. Yeah. It's good, and you can taste the whiskey. Yeah, like the flavoring mm -hmm. is great. The vanilla definitely made it pop more mm -hmm. than I thought it was going to. Mm -hmm. I think right. that's the thing about cooking with alcohol, is you have to pair it with something where it'll enhance the flavor of it. So like vanilla works really well with, with whiskey, like pine and gin. Like mm -hmm. having things that'll pull out the flavor of the alcohol. Mm -hmm. Well, because otherwise you just have like alcohol flavored stuff, and well, right. I don't know that that's like necessarily mm. what you want. Well, any, like, if you're cooking anything, you don't want it to just taste like one thing. Yeah. So. Well done with the uh, vanilla. Thanks. Ooh. I'm gonna, so if this gets too low, then like you're gonna start now. struggling to dip the cake pops. And that's the last thing you want, because this is already hard enough. <laughs> so. Yeah, this is what I mean by this is like a challenging thing to make. Yeah. This, I, this part is challenging. The batter is not challenging, but this is definitely. Got it. I'm gonna melt these puppies up a little bit more. <coughs> I'm glad you also got these like black sprinkly guys. Like yeah. adding a nice touch, a nice texture. Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> I hope I remember all of this for the cookbook. I don't know how you remember everything. It's, it's not easy. <sighs> I definitely am like having to rewatch a couple of things to be like, alright, cool, let me. Yeah, that's true. I could always rewatch what we ended up doing in the episode. Add. <laughs> How much oil did I end up adding? A lot. Let's see what 30 seconds does for us. Good, this is great. 30 seconds is all I needed. Awesome. Yeah. Boom. I want to know, like, they're candy melts, so they obviously have a different texture than chocolate. Like, yeah. Don't try dipping these in regular chocolate. It, you will fail. Hence our dark chocolate spider fail. <laughs> yeah. These are made specifically to harden and create the coating. I want to know, like, what kind of... You have to do something with chocolate, though, at some point. Like, people dunk stuff in chocolate all the time. Oh, like the fondue? Yeah. They probably use, like, specific fondue for candy coating, I imagine. Yeah. One that will, like, remain a good consistency in a fountain and then dry on your strawberry. Mm. I mean, I've had regular chocolate-covered strawberries, though. Yeah. But they just, like, you know, they're messy to make. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna keep dipping. Come here, little guy. It's your turn. Whee! Drown! I'm trying to think if you ever actually see Jessica Jones eat anything. 
Yeah, that's a good question. You definitely see her drink. Just whiskey. Wait, doesn't she eat with Kilt Grave at one point? She's in a restaurant, <coughs> yeah. In the first episode, at least, that we just watched again. Um, but I think I only saw her raise a glass to her lips. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you ever actually see her eat. Yeah. It's so funny, because, like, Kristen Ritter's career has gotten so much... It's insane. Like, and especially because she started off as a little more of, like, goofy and sarcastic... And then she was in uh, Big Eyes. Was Big Eyes during Jessica Jones or before or after? Uh, I think it was right before or right after, like around this, or maybe like around the same time. She was great in that one. Well, she was uh, she was in Don't Trust the Bee, yeah. Department Twenty Three, and I think that set her up a little bit. And Breaking Bad, of course. She was really dramatic yeah. in Breaking Bad. That was her breakout role, wasn't it? Was that the first big thing she was in? She was in Gilmore Girls. She was? Mm -hmm. Who was she in Gilmore Girls? She was Rory's college friend. What? And she was like super... Girlfriend! Hey, girlfriend! Oh my gosh. Like, oh, that's... She has... Rory has like a weird, like, relationship with this guy who winds up being Kristen Ritter's boyfriend. Oh, okay. And Kristen Ritter's boyfriend has like a big crush on Rory. And so, like, they meet later, and, like, there's a couple episodes where they're setting it up, and Kristen Ritter's like, oh, you have to meet boyfriend. Boyfriend just came in. Like, boyfriend's here, boyfriend this, boyfriend that. Oh, my God, I can already imagine the way she's saying that. <laughs> and then it turns out that it's him. So, like, they, she calls him boyfriend to, to not use his name. Oh, okay. Like, the writers did that to not use his name, but then she actually just calls him boyfriend all the time. Huh. Yeah, and she's so different in Jessica Jones. She does such a, a good job. She's not her, like, goofy self. And I've heard from several people that she's, like, the nicest person yeah. ever on set. That she, like, always has her lines memorized. Oh, I'm she, she never... Oh, it's okay. She never, uh, like, forgets a line. Like, she's always very well prepared and super nice to the crew and everything. Ah! I love hearing stories like that about actors. Yeah, she... I used to know someone that was one of the executive producers on Don't Trust the Bee. Oh! And Got another cake popped down. Man down! And uh, he always had wonderful things to say about her. And I believe that show got canceled and the ratings weren't like awful. It was like one of those shows that you don't really know why it got canceled. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, but yeah. We're salvaging it. It's totally fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Everything is going so well. Don't worry, little cake pop. We'll save you. Uh, actually, I just stuck one in a big one. It's probably not gonna be saved. All right, now we're gonna oh. go for our our blingin' cake pops. Hey yo! <laughs> I just want to know who in a factory was like, you know what we need? <laughs> Red rhinestone cake pop sticks. That's some like Hunger Games, like what? Yeah, like the fancy people in District called? One. Yeah. Oh my god! In the I capital. Love the Hunger Games. Oh, <gasps> we should do. We totally could. We need to be on point with our costumes, though. Yeah. That we... Oh. we oh, dang it. Another one down. We don't have to do, like, Katniss and Effie. Yeah, we totally could. Oh, man, I want to be Effie, though. We can. We can reverse it. <laughs> we could. You were a blonde Miss Scarlet. I was. Never before seen blonde Miss Scarlet. Hopefully that's what they do with the new movie. Oh, hold on. I need to drizzle this one. It's a little, uh, little screwed little up. There we go. In some areas. <laughs> It's fine, we fix it, we good. Okay, we can't afford any more mistakes. Because I only have one ball left. We actually have some better left, so we could keep making them. Oh, hey, that's right. There we go. Nom, 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 nom. La la la. Alright. Yeah. Make these smaller, please, for the love of God. When you make these, just make them smaller. This one I can tell is going to fall off, too. It's no. It's too big. I believe in you. I believe in you. Really quick, really quick. Nope. Fell nope. Off. <laughs> I can just serve these as like weird, weird balls. That's fine. Would you like one of my weird balls? Would you like a weird, a weird purple ball? I have plenty. Some of these will work, I'm sure. These would be hard to transport anyway, though. Yeah. So those are easier. Yeah. I'd be like, hello. This one looks fantastic. It does! That's probably the best thing. <clears throat> Not in that one. Yeah. Once we break off the little bits on the edge. The nubs? Yeah. The nubbins? 
Okay, so these sticks officially suck. Well, it doesn't look like it lets you push it in far enough. Yeah. Because of all of the Effie Trinket bedazzles. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, got a little butthole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I uh, should I'm gonna fix this one. If you wouldn't mind sprinkling yeah. a little on top. Get it. There we go. Oh, now it's gonna have a weird blob on top. What is that? Is that a piece of cake? Yeah. <laughs> that Just one's co funny. cover it all up. <laughs> cover up all the mistakes. Oh no, this one's totally gonna- look at that one. Oh! Oh, it's so heavy it fell off right when I picked it up. That's okay. This is the most tedious thing I have I ever seen it's someone make. so tedious. It's- and like I said, like I keep saying, draw- then imagine taking these after you've tried to keep them all upright and then drawing hair and faces on them. I would quit. It takes so long. Like, there's no way. I think Elena helped me with the Jon Snow ones just to make them go faster. Like drawing the eyes or the blood. Okay, this one should be small enough. I'm gonna try to re-stick it. Now that it's got all the crap off? Yeah. I almost feel like you need to like stick that stick like almost all the way through or something. Yeah, probably. I mean, I, I think I was for the most part. At least like three quarters of the way through. That's, like... I'll let that dry. I have a newfound respect for people who make these now. I know! Okay, this guy. You're huge. You're gonna fall off. See, I thought that was little. It's kind of squashed now. Could you, like, use the spoon and, like, drizzle and... I spoon could. Like, would that be a help technique? It might work. Let's see. Cause then it, like... You know what, I might have ended up, I can't remember, I might have ended up doing this for the cake pop heads. I think I did. In like, muscle memory. No? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did this for the heads. But yeah, you can, I feel like I can see it start to like... Get Sad. heavy. <gasps> get yep. heavy! It's getting heavy! It's gonna fall! No! Go, go down, go down, go down! No! I don't know, I don't have a place to put it! No! <laughs> Okay. Yeah, like there could be some <laughs> bedazzle in the... <laughs> Just don't bite too far on the cake pop, otherwise you'll get a mouthful of rhinestones. <laughs> That's good. We'll what? grunge up the rhinestone ones. <laughs> okay, this guy should be little enough. So you better work. You better work. If it doesn't, then the candy coating is too... <laughs> it's too uh, thick. Okay, that's good. This one's good. Oh yeah! That guy's actually pretty perfect. I like that one. I like that one a lot. Nice, nice, nice. Seriously, I can't get over it. Blame to rhinestones. Yep. Ugh! I'm also curious as to what other forms of sticks this company makes. <laughs> well, we make, um... Some have bows on them. Wedding cake pop sticks, bar mitzvah cake pop sticks, um, prom cake, cake pop sticks, <laughs> funeral cake pop sticks. You can like order these in a bouquet and send them to someone. <laughs> the cake pops or yeah. the sticks? I think I meant the sticks. Like just, here's a bunch of cake pop, cake pop sticks for you. None of the fun though. <laughs> Alright, so we'll go for this little guy so I can increase my morale. It's not even you, it's those sticks. Yeah. Well, it is the cake pops, though, too. A little bit. Alright. Good, good, good. Alright. That guy's actually really good. <sighs> this guy. They, oh. they look a little lumpy, but they smooth out. <laughs> Cake pops are a little forgiving in that way. Oh my gosh, we're almost done. I know, that's impressive. Oh, nope. I thought this was going to take. I still am impressed. That I it didn't take forever? No, just how you make these. Oh. <coughs> I will never make them myself. Uh, no? No. I, I, they're such a, a fun party snack. I would rather make like a 10 course meal. Than deal with these cake pops? <laughs> like I said, I don't like cooking things that I don't know that I would be successful at. Yeah, these are a little bit of a crapshoot. 
Um, I don't know. I'm also not the biggest dessert maker. Mm. Like, I, I'm i more of a cook than a baker. Mm. I like making fancy desserts. Yeah. I'm like, if I'm going to do dessert, I might as well just do dessert. Right. Like the Great British Bake Off style. Oh. Have you not seen it? No. What? <laughs> oh my god, are you serious? Yeah. Oh my god, you need to shut up and watch. <laughs> Get cultured. Oh my god, Great British Bake Off is amazing. It's like 12 British people in a tent. Oh, I have seen a little bit of it, I'm pretty sure. And they make like these super intricate desserts. And I want to make all of them, like opera cakes, and that's not even one of the hard ones. But yeah, like, I want to do that. I want to, like, go there and watch them do it. There's four seasons on Netflix. I have watched field trip. all of them. Yeah. Damsel's Field Trip. I'm gonna throw they do these need away. new hosts, as far as I know. Well, don't We do know how to host. That we do. And they had two women before, so hey yo. Get on there. Great. Awesome. Nailed it. Yeah. So, we're going to show you guys photos of these um, later so that you can see. Um, but we're going to plate these up real nice and take a nice little photo. Because cake pops are one of those desserts where you just need to, like, uh, present them well. You know, Presenting. they can't just be all smooshed. Um, let's see if we can do that. Just for a second. Let's just um, put it on a plate for you guys because this doesn't, like, this is not, this isn't do the, the Jessica Jones cake pops justice. There we go. There you go. I want to get all the droopy bits off. I feel like for Jessica Jones, though, it makes sense for them to not be uniform and perfect. Yeah. <coughs> this, is, this is just a lot, though. That's a lot of drippings. And are you a good one? Are you a good boy? I love how you just skipped that one. You were like, not you. <laughs> that one dripped a lot. You have quite a few mm. good ones. Yeah. Oh. oh. Just kidding. We're gonna pretend. Shh, no one saw. Come on, little guy. No one saw. It's okay. <laughs> They're not quite dry yet. That's why. I think it's because I used too much oil. Um. Ooh. Oh, it's really wet. There we go. Yeah, if you use too much oil, they won't dry. Um, and that is not what you want. Let's see. Let's so get this one. Come on. Come on, little guy. Come on. There we go. There we go. All right. Yes. All right. Ready to present? Uh, let me put on my coat for this so I can be officially Jessica Jones. Fair enough. And the giant scarf. Uh, huh, I'll leave that off. Alright, <laughs> I'm Jessica Jones and I present to you my whiskey cake pops. Nice! Those are awesome. Yeah, those are pretty great. Yeah, I'm all about these. I'm all about these. Oot oot! Well, great. Do you want to eat one? Yes. I, I want to eat one. Do I want to eat one? Are you kidding me? Food that I didn't have to make? I want to eat them all. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get that color in there. Mm-hmm. Boom. All right. Should we eat, um, let's get rid of these sticks. The derpy ones first? Yeah, they're too wet, though. Yeah, they haven't dried yet. Well, that's okay. I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna eat this derpy. Derpy guy. I want guy. this one. Go for it. Oh, you're not dry at all. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> mmm. 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 Oh my god. They are so sweet. Woo! That is like intense sugar. It's got 12 cavities. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Yeah. You would think the whiskey would have, like, cut the sugar. I think it makes it worse. I think it, yeah, it enhanced it. Mm-hmm. Because there's sugar in whiskey, right? 
Yeah. I don't know. Whatever it's doing, it's making it taste more sweet. Mm. Oof. Yay. All right. They're delicious, though. Mm -hmm. They're sweet, but they're good. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's what cake pops are supposed to be. Like, you're only supposed to need one. I feel yeah. like if you are making cake pops where I want to eat 12 in order to feel satisfied, you've done a terrible job. My cake pops are always very sweet. Um, but I have to say, I wouldn't make these over regular chocolate or, or um, red velvet cake. Because when I make the Game of Thrones cake pops, they have red velvet on the insides so that when you bite into them, it looks like you're eating a real head. That so, and you good. like those better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd say so. Because I think red velvet is just chocolate. Just yeah. devil's food cake, so, yeah. All right, well, that's it for us, I think. Yeah, Jessica Jones! Yay! Make some cake pops! And the premiere is tonight, right? Yeah. I know it's March 2nd. Um, I don't know what next two Mondays from now is. Whenever we... We're doing the quick We're now. seeing this... Whenever you're seeing this live... Wait, you're not in Barcelona this second, are you? Yeah. Oh, you are? Oh, that's this is the wrong month. No, it's March. What? March 2018. Oh, do we have it after it premieres? Do we have it on the 5th? Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't remember. I don't remember, but this is in honor of Jessica Jones, and we're very excited to see the premiere, even though we don't know exactly what the day it is on the top of Reds. Um, but yeah, thank you for joining us, and thank you for being on the chat, even though we can't speak with you live. And I mean, sort of. Hello from Barcelona, from me, and from Elena. And hi from the chat. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, we will see you next week. And next week is our Dungeons & Dragons Paladin, Paladin. episode. Um, as of now, we still have no idea how we're going to dress up as Paladins. Chain mail. Chain mail. We're going to make chain mail out of pop cans. We'll right? see you in six years when it's finished. <laughs> yeah. Um, but that'll be fun. Yeah. Um, so we will see you guys then. Um, but... Goodbye, Thanks and for tuning in. yeah, bye.